these are some key indicators while we uh, continue to look at several aspects of what these numbers are really telling us. Let's just also get in our correspondence at this uh, minute. Uh, joining us on the broadcast, Siddharth MP and Idris Loan. Thanks very much for being here. Siddharth, let me just come to you first. Uh, give us a broad uh, perspective in terms of why the BJP's performance was very crucial as far as the entire southern region is concerned and what uh, the mood on the ground is looking like for you right now where you are. Hi Molly, I'm at uh, the DMK headquarters here in Chennai. So we've been here pretty much throughout the day. So it's actually been fluctuating highs and lows we've seen here as far as the mood is concerned. In the morning when the India Alliance's performance was seen to be great and almost on par with the BJP at some points in time, it was then seen as a very celebratory place and there was a lot of enthusiasm. People were bursting crackers, they were celebrating here, they were beating drums over here. It was a very electric atmosphere but as the day progressed, uh, it slowed down and perhaps it's the heat getting to people, it's the humidity getting to people. Chennai, as we know, brutally hot but the fact here is that in the DMK headquarters there is not much enthusiasm at this point in time because it looks as though this alliance the India Alliance in Tamil Nadu they've done exceedingly well they've pretty much kept all of the seats that they won last time they won 38 of 39 last time and now as well it looks like they're winning at least 36 to 37 seats so pretty much uh, as far as strike rate goes they've managed 90 90 percent plus so in that case their strike rate here is amazing but perhaps what they're really waiting for is to understand the national picture and understand whether there is a possibility for the India Alliance to form a government or something of that sort. So that's the current situation here as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. So this is what we have to see. And looking at the overall scenario in the state, uh, BJP per se has not got any seats on its own. There is only one NDA ally, BJP ally as part of the NDA that is now leading but of course not a great margin. In addition to that, BJP, there's no possibility of seats so far as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned. But then the party can take a consolation prize or take solace in the fact that their vote share has now risen beyond 10% in Tamil Nadu. So far, it was anywhere between 3 to 5%. So almost doubling or tripling of vote share, if you would uh, have it that way. Right. And at the same time, BJP is also a party that considers that it's in Tamil Nadu for the long haul. So in that case, increase in vote share is something they have to take solace in. And most important observation in Tamil Nadu, it's been an absolute sweep by the DMK-led India Alliance. And then, sadly for the AI DMK, the opposition party in the state, a party that's ruled the state for several terms, a party with the tall leaders like JJ Lalitha and MGR at one point in time, they have almost not won any seats at this point in time. Perhaps leads in one or two, but so far nothing concrete. All right. So this goes on to show that the DMK is completely swept. Right. Uh, Siddharth, I want to go back to a point you briefly mentioned and touched upon that the TDP, of course, is seeing a big win in the state of Tamil Nadu, but it's also eyeing at the national picture, as you said, about the possibility of what will happen there because the BJP is uh, looking at some of the unexpected defeats, which is obviously playing out in the favor of the India Alliance. What is, what is your assessment? How big of a role can Chandra Babu Naidu actually play in this? See, Chandra Babu Naidu has a very crucial role to play as uh, kingmaker because he, as part of the NDA, has decimated completely uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy's party, be it the assembly polls or the parliamentary polls. So this was uh, a sort of shock defeat on both fronts for Jagan Mohan Reddy and YSRCP. They're completely devastated by what has struck them. It's, it's almost like a sort of force of nature that has struck them and the results are clean. The numbers are clean for everyone to see in Andhra Pradesh. But what remains to be seen is which way will Naidu go? A very veteran politician, almost comparable to Prime Minister Narendra Modi in age, he's in his 70s. So he's seen many governments fall and many governments rise. He's been part of various alliances. He's known to switch loyalties because 2014 he was with the NDA, 2019 he moved out of the NDA. And then his political fortunes totally fell out. His political fortunes was on a complete downfall after he fell out with the NDA in 2019. Now he's back in the NDA fold and then, you know, he's hit a jackpot. Um, there's a possibility of his son becoming chief minister and what are his ambitions we don't know because he's in his early 70s so does he want to be chief minister does he have bigger ambitions what will be his bargaining chips but of course the kind of seats that he's got in Andhra Pradesh are crucial because be it the Lok Sabha or you know the uh, assembly seats and what it would mean in the Rajya Sabha all of this are very very significant for the TDP uh, uh, this is a very uh, shock result from the south per se because in most other states um, 
you know the results have been pretty much on expe uh, expected lines but this has been the biggest surprise and as far as the bjp is concerned this is also one state where they can claim that their alliance dynamics have worked perfectly well and you know they've been able to muster up the numbers like never before because yeah. even if a state government is formed there in andhra they'll be part of the ruling alliance there so that's something that the bjp can also take solace in but of course naidu will play his cards very close to his chest and he'll have to you know uh, you know take every move with a lot of caution hereafter and of course the bjp also should be watching that very closely given that uh, their entire political survival uh, in power uh, rests on uh, chandra babu naidu and people like that yeah it, it does seem so that naidu will hold his cards very close to his chest at the same time it seems like he'll have a lot of bargaining chips on his end and it'll be interesting how that pans out in andhra pradesh not just for the state but nationally as well